Happy New Year. I hope you all had nice holidays with your friends and family. I wanted to make a quick video to talk about the unusually cold weather that we've been having in Moscow the last few days. It's gotten down to as cold as minus 27 degrees Celsius, which is about minus 16 degrees Fahrenheit. And I know that sounds really cold and it is but it actually isn't that bad we're not uh, suffering by any means we've gotten a lot of messages from people asking how we're doing are we okay are the cats okay and don't worry uh, we're fine it's, it's not that bad mostly because we don't spend a lot of time outside in the winter moscow is a really convenient city if we want to go anywhere we live uh, less than a two minute walk from a subway station uh, and so from the outside of our um, apartment building to the subway entrance, it takes less than two minutes, not enough time to really get that cold. We also have really thick uh, winter coats and hats, so we're dressed properly when we're outside. Uh, and the main thing, though, is that the heating in Moscow and most major cities in Russia is free in the winter. Uh, and the buildings are actually very warm, in many cases a little bit too warm, which is not the worst problem in the world. But when we first moved here in August, I had heard that a lot of Russians in the winter sleep with their windows open at night. And I thought that was crazy. One, because it's a waste of energy. And two, because why would you have the window open in the winter um, at night? But now I completely understand because our building, I know a lot of buildings are different, but we, we live in an older building and in our building, uh, we can either turn the radiators on or we can turn them off. We can't really regulate the temperature inside other than that. So when the temperature outside goes down, the temperature in the buildings goes up and it's always just a little bit too warm. So this morning, for example, it was about minus 25 degrees Celsius uh, when I woke up and I went into the living room and it was so hot. I turned off one of the two radiators in the living room because it was just it was just too hot. It was ridiculous. Um, but that's a good thing because when you're inside, you're really warm. And then you when you before you go outside, of course, you put on your, your jackets inside and then you get really hot. And so you, you go outside to cool down and it feels really good when you step outside in the cold uh, to cool down. And by the time you do cool down, you're probably in the taxi, you're probably in the subway, you're probably at the restaurant, wherever it is you need to go. So you don't really get a chance to get cold. About the longest distance we walk right now in the winter is from our apartment to our gym, which is a 12 minute walk. And when we moved here in August, we knew that was the most important thing was to live close to a subway station and close to our gym because the gym is one place we go every single day, no matter what the temperature, no matter what the weather is. And so that 12 minute walk is fine. If there's a little bit of a breeze, your face can get a little bit cold. My winter coat goes down uh, below my knees, but like if I'm wearing just workout pants, uh, leggings, then my shins do a little, get a little bit cold, but it's 12 minutes, it's not bad. Once you're inside the building, you warm up really quickly. And then after working out, of course you're hot. And then by the time I get home, I've, I've cooled down nicely. So we don't spend a lot of time outside, so don't worry, <laughs> we're not suffering in the cold. It's not, um, it is unusually cold for Moscow. The average temperature in January, which is the coldest month of the year in Moscow, the average temperature is around seven degrees below zero Celsius. So this is unusually cold. Um, but again, I mean, that record temperature, 42 degrees below zero, it can be quite a bit colder. The other thing too, is that we don't have snow right now in Moscow. And you remember we had a lot of snow at the beginning of the season where we had two or three big snowstorms that were the biggest snowstorms ever recorded in Moscow. But the weather warmed up quite a bit right before Christmas and it rained. And so all the snow that we had melted away. So the streets and sidewalks are clear. So we don't have to worry about walking across ice and, and snow, but they do a good job of, of clearing it up here anyway. So that's the other thing. So we just have the cold now and no snow, but also um, we've with the cold, we've gotten a lot of really sunny days, which is great because, you know, the sunrise is still pretty late here, rises uh, just before 9 a.m. and starts setting um, just after four. So having that sunshine for a few hours of the day really makes a big difference. So anyway, that's the situation here in Moscow. Um, hope you all are doing great. And again, Happy New Year. Bye bye.